Welcome to the Tuesday, February 9th, 2016 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by The Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, egg prices break from record highs in January. Then later, processor prices for Alaskan Pollock reach a 10-year low. But first, U.S. pork exports were solid in December, while beef exports trended lower. Here with that story is your host, Megan Mick. U.S. pork exports posted a strong finish in 2015 as December volume was the largest since April and the third largest of the year, according to data released by USDA and compiled by the U.S. Meat Export Federation. December exports of U.S. pork were up 3% from a year ago and export value was down 13%. However, it was the highest since May. For the full calendar year, pork exports were down 2% from a year ago in volume and 16% lower in value. December U.S. beef exports were down 6% from a year ago and slightly lower than in November, while export value fell 21%. For more on the latest export figures and other news, please click on the red meat tab in Comtel. Next up, egg prices have broken from record January highs. Here's market reporter Brian Moscajuri with the details. It's far from unusual to see shell egg prices rally from post-holiday lows to begin the new year. So when the Midwest large market bottomed at $1.11 per dozen, the lowest level seen in the month of January since 2012, participants across the industry reacted. Shifts in supply and demand, most notably seasonal flock rotations and feature activity, motivated 62% price rebounds to $1.80 a dozen in the Midwest, the highest market ever seen in January. Market conditions have come under pressure though the first week of February. Production is returning ahead of the Easter marketing period across the country. Meanwhile, features have shifted towards seasonal items for the first half of February. Distribution accounts have reduced orders to a minimum, awaiting corrections before restocking inventories ahead of Easter. Wholesale pricing is openly negotiable and the market is adjusting lower less than two months away from what is traditionally known as the biggest single egg holiday of the year. Thanks, Brian. Processor prices for Alaskan Pollock have reached a 10-year low. Seafood News Editor Mike Ramsing has that report. The collapse of Pollock prices in China may be driving down the market for the Gulf of Alaska A season catch. In January, Pollock prices for headed and gutted products shipped to China for further processing fell to their lowest level since 2005. A significant portion of the Gulf fishery is shipped as HNG fish to China. Another factor is currency. Since the strength of the US dollar and weakness of the Russian ruble makes dollar denominated products from Russia much cheaper. Gulf of Alaska Pollock trawlers tied up late last week in a show of solidarity for some crews that travel to Oregon and testify before the North Pacific Management Council. Fishermen went to voice concerns over two proposals before the council, a plan to transition the fishery to a quota management system and another to reduce salmon and halibut bycatch. Head over to SeafoodNews.com for ongoing coverage of Alaska's pollock industry and check the Seafood tab in Comtel for more market analysis and commentary. Thanks, Mike. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.